Okay, so we're back working on on the forum here. Um, um, last video, we pretty much started our view cat page, and uh, we're gonna finish it up this video. Um, I do sound a little bit sick. That's because I am. Uh, I have a cold, but uh, I do have a better microphone now, so hopefully better audio quality from now on. Um, so, like in the last video, I said is that I was gonna insert all the information into the database. Uh, that will be needed for our first one, and I did. It's all right here. Everything's in here. It's just real, real basic stuff. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, everything is set to one, which is the default for everything, pretty much. Um, and then we have forum name, general category name, announcements, user created, which is basic Nick, and. I totally just for, uh, just noticed this, but uh, <coughs> but um, in this we need to have a category or a, not a category, a topic title. So yeah, fail on my part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sh whoops, no, don't drop. We're gonna go to to structure for our form underscore topics. Then we're gonna go down and we're gonna insert one after let's go with after cat underscore name we will add in add one field this will just be name and it will be a varchar of 250 and we'll click save and then I'm gonna go to browse click edit and I'm gonna add in a topic name of, um, how about just forum, whoops, forum under, forum under construction, that'll work. So I'm going to hit enter to save that information, and if we go back to browse, so we have all of our fields inserted and everything, and I actually, I want to insert one more after, you know, with view rights. And we'll, I'm going to name it locked. So this is going to make it so um, if a post, like for example, if a post or a topic is a question and that question gets answered, then you may want to lock that post, making it so no one else can post to it. And for whatever reason, uh, you want to lock that post so no one else can post to it. So we're going to have a locked field to do that. So we're going to go back to browse. And if we scroll over, you can see by default locked is zero, which is good. That means it's not locked or unlocked. So that's what we want it to be set to by default. So, uh, yeah. So we have all this information we need to now in our view cat file where we have our query down here. We need to say select all from um, forum underscore topics where cat underscore id equals whoops and this needs to be cat underscore id uh yeah and then after that we'll have num rows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows so this is going to be our query so after we have this we need to put in an if statement to make sure that we have, we actually have categories inside of, wow, well, I keep doing that. Let's make sure we ha actually have topics inside of our categories. So to do that, we should put an if statement, say else, and for now we will just echo this category. Has no Sure, that'll work. So this category has no topic. So inside of this if statement, we're just gonna say echo uh, topics found. So if we upload, and if we refresh, we now just have topics found, and that's because we actually have a topic in the database. So we're gonna get rid of this echo. Um, so inside of here, we're going to need a while loop. 
so while so inside of here inside of our while loop we're gonna have our standard <coughs> we're gonna have our standard uh, mysql underscore fetch a sock so our row and our query inside of that so inside of here we need to get all of our information out of the database for each of our topics we need all this stuff in here we're gonna get it so I'm gonna pause the video and go ahead and do that. okay so I've gotten all the information typed up it's all right here this is every single piece of information from the database um, now what you may want to note is we have topic ID for the ID set in the database and we have topic name underscore name for the that be name in the database so that gets everything out of the database that we need so just to prove that we're getting this if we simple simply echo out um, topic name and topic uh, ID and then upload we should see topic found topics found to form under construction in one so yeah obviously that's working now what we need to do is get rid of this echo statement and go back to the forum.php file and we need to get this right, this stuff right here all of this from this link to the end of this echo and then we can just paste it in here and then I'm going to go ahead and reverse indent so we have our colors um, so our colors will change we have we need to change all of this information um, to the correct information that we're getting out of the database um, so yeah <clears throat> so what we need to do is if we look back here we have topics posts last poster and we actually need to change this topics to post and posts to views so scroll up to here There we go. So we have posts, and this needs to be views. So, um, yeah. So what we need to do is, if we scroll back down, the first thing we have in here is the posts, the total posts that this has. So this is total underscore posts, and we have total underscore views, and the views will be updated dynamically every time we. Um, every time the, the post page loads, so every time someone views it, it'll update, and we'll we'll code that in. So then we have to have um, a link to the last underscore user. The target will be underscore blank, and this is last underscore user name, and this is on last underscore date. So just to prove that that's working, whoops, if we upload and refresh, you see we have everything spaced out, and then we have <coughs> all of our information here. So everything's working. Now the only problem is we have this being displayed, we have to change this. Uh, we don't have an image being displayed because we haven't declared an image, um, which I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to our database, and we are going to scroll down. So we're going to insert one after, we'll go with after cat underscore name. And uh, we'll name it image, be a varchar of 250, I guess. No, it's a varchar of 100. So after we add that, we can go back to browse. Sorry, hit the mic by accident. Click edit. And we need to add an image, and this is default.png, I believe. Yeah, I think that's it. And which means we need to make it so we get it out of the database up here. So this will be topic underscore image, and this needs to be image. So we scroll down where we're getting our image. We have site slash images slash forum, and this is topic underscore image, and yeah, and it's a link to link. Now, what we're going to do is we need to set up our link 
is our link will go to a view topic page. So view um, topic and ID of topic underscore ID. So pretty pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now if you wanted, you could put in other stuff, um, whatever, it's up to you. Um, later on, we may add in the ability to go to the last post, um, and I'll get to that later if we do it, um, or a link to the last post. So down here where we have cat name, this needs to be topic underscore name, and where we have cat under underscore description, we need to get rid of that, and this is going to be the information about who posted, who created the topic. So this will say by, um, let's see. Actually, this is essentially going to be this code right here. So we can actually just copy that and paste this down here. So by user, um, by the username, and this will say on date. So yeah, that'll work for now. So if we, whoops, if we refresh, you see we have our image and we have by username on date and we have all of our information being displayed um, and everything's working. Now the only thing is, is we have uh, this right here. So we want to make this, instead of saying by, we'll just say last poster with username on date. So we're going to change that. We're also going to change it in our forum page too. So we're going to get rid of by right here. And in our forum page, we're going to get rid of by right there. So if we upload our view cats and the forum, and then we refresh, we no longer have the by there. So we have um, the username and then that. So if we hover over our link, we have view topic ID equals one, because this is a topic of with an ID of one. So that pretty much is this um, this here. Um, this is like getting all of our information from the database. Um, now the other thing we want to add is we want to add sort of a link to be able to add a topic in this specific category. So what we're going to do is for now it's just going to be a text link. Maybe later I, I might make an image or something. But So we're above, if we go back to our view cat file, and scroll over, scroll up, where we have our start forum. Before we have our start forum, um, I'm going to put in a variable called create underscore new. And it's actually just going to be echo create underscore new. I'm going to copy it, scroll all the way down to where we have our end forum, and I'm going to paste in create underscore new. So what we're going to do is above our create underscore new we're going to create the variable so dollar sign create underscore new equals and this is going to be a link a href equals um, and this will be dollar sign site slash add topic um, question mark uh, we want cat equals dollar sign underscore cat or no it's a uh, cat underscore ID and then we have an end a so our end anchor tag and we'll go ahead and throw just a line break on there too and we'll ch uh, put the text to create new topic so for now that's just going to be there um, but for now, I'm actually going to make it so it's just going to go to nothing. So because we haven't created that file yet, it's just going to be empty, really. It's essentially what it is. So after we refresh, you see we have a link, create new topic, create new topic. So it doesn't, the link doesn't go anywhere, but that's essentially where it's going to be at. Um, so yeah, now that needs to be spaced out a little bit better. So, we'll go ahead and throw another line break here.
upload it again. Fresh. So there we go. So everything's spaced out nicely. Um, like I said, eventually that'll probably be an image or something. Uh, maybe just, or just something fancy, maybe, instead of just being, like, normal text. So, I'm gonna stop this video here. This essentially concludes the View Cat page. <coughs> so, yeah, um, in the next video we're gonna start working on the View Topic page to make it so we can actually view all the information about, um, about topics and all the posts that they have and, and whatnot. So definitely check that out. Thanks for watching.